Hey, I'm Cody Schneider. In this video, I'm going to show you how to make LinkedIn carousels exactly like this one, entirely generated by AI. So we're going to basically have it write all of this, and then we're going to use Canva to build out a template uh, that builds that whole carousel automatically. All right, let's dive in. The first thing you're going to go do is you're going to go find a subreddit that's related to your niche. The one that I'm going to use uh, as an example today is I'm going to sort uh, marketing by top and then in the last month. So this is going to look for top posts that happened in the last months. Once I find a post that I like, uh, this Taylor Swift one is probably the best. Who doesn't love T Swizzle? I know my girlfriend does and by proxy I do as well. So anyways, I'm going to copy all of this text. And I'm going to then go to ChatGPT and I'm gonna drop all of that in there. I'm then going to prompt ChatGPT, make a table about the following. The table should have title and description column. So it's then gonna generate this output. So it's gonna have that strategy and title. Um, what I did here is I had to expand the table so that it has more content within it. And once I have that, I've got my source content, right? That's now just been written. So I'm gonna put that into a spreadsheet so that I can easily export it into a CSV. Why we need it like that is because that is what we're going to import into Canva to basically generate one of these carousels. All right, so now let's build this template out. We're gonna do this pretty quickly, pretty easily, pretty fast, pretty nimble. God willing, since Canva for the last hour has just not wanted to load. And so I've just been reshooting this over and over again. We're on take 15 people. That's why this is gonna be an absolute banger. All right, so the first thing that you're going to do is you're going to find the LinkedIn carousel um, uh, format type. So this is gonna be a 1200 pixel by 1500 pixel. And I'm just gonna bring that up. See, this is what I'm dealing with here. Just no loading, no loading at all. Anyway, so the elements that you're going to find are going to be um, this uh, circle frame is what it's called. Um, you can see me searching it here and this loading over and over again. Um, you're going to then put some text. You're going to grab the LinkedIn logo. You can just pull that from online. I'm uh, pulling out these LinkedIn hearts, claps, and thumbs. And then we're trying to add a little spice in here. You know, We're trying to make it a little human. I got mom who liked it and 1,300 other people. Um, the angle that I go for a lot of the times is irreverent with the content. And so, you know, trying to add those things that get people to kind of stop and double take, right? So anyways, once I've built this template out, um, the other things that I'm adding here is this element. Um, so again, this like sidebar element, if you just search for like frame, it's gonna bring this up and you're gonna find uh, some different things that you can use. Um, I just used like a corner like frame, I think is what and it, it ended up finding. Um, but there's a bunch of different options here. You use something like this. Um, you, you can find basically what you like. So once I've created that, um, what I'm going to do next is all of the magic. So what I've done here and what I'm going to walk through one more time is I'm going to create a variable and this variable is going to be tied to that CSV that I'm about to upload. So again, we just created that CSV here. I downloaded it out, and now we're gonna upload it into this Canva template so that I can create this piece of content. So how do I create these variables? So the first thing that you need to do is you need to make this title. So I'm just gonna delete both of these and we're gonna do it from the top because we want that step-by-step, -step, baby. This piece, we're not gonna do it step-by-step. -step. This, this is where all the magic is happening. You can use one of the templates that they already have. Like, I mean, they have a million of these. Like you search LinkedIn on here and you're gonna find one that probably is gonna be way better looking than the one I just made. But we're not gonna judge. So anyway, what you're going to do is you're going to add a piece of text here. So I'm gonna name it that title. I'm gonna add it a heading. That thing is huge. I don't want that, I want a littler one, perfect. And then I'm gonna name what the um, output is, or sorry, what that column heading is, a strategy. I'm gonna take that and I'm gonna drop that in right here. And I'm gonna put that up in that top left position. Now I'm gonna do the same thing, but I'm gonna add some body text. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make this as wide as that section. And I'm gonna also uh, put this off to the left and then over here. Okay, so once I've created these, 
this is where it gets a little tricky because I can't remember how I actually did this to begin with. So we're gonna do this live. So basically what we're going to do is we're going to uh, make these as connected data sources. So I have to open this bulk create and then I have to click upload CSV. But I'm just kidding, you don't have to do that. First, what you need to do is you need to connect this. So how I can connect this is I basically uh, click enter the manual data. Oh my God, I honestly can't fucking remember. I'm gonna pause. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna upload that CSV. Once I've uploaded that CSV, I'm gonna have this new ability to connect this to a data source. You're gonna see this connect data function. And then I can select strategy. So again, you see how it changed that? What's happening there is I'm now going to take in this uh, cell from the CSV and it's gonna replace that here on this template. All right, so we're gonna do the same thing, but we're now we're gonna do this for the description. So again, connect data, description, and that's it. Once I've got this template built, I can add these callouts. Um, this video is actually sponsored by Swell AI and it allows you to make uh, any content that you can imagine. It's a whole content um, uh, automation engine. So you can do things like prompt it to basically write anything that you can think of, like social media posts, and all these can be saved as templates. But anyways, I digress. Let's get back to the main content. All right, so once I uh, basically build this, I hit continue and I hit generate designs and voila, I now get this output. Might have a little bit of stylization issues. These are the things that you can fix. And actually, I'm just gonna go back and fix that here right now. So what I'm gonna do is push that over to the side and then I'm gonna draw this out so that it's full length. And then uh, we're gonna run this again. And what you're gonna see, now it fits that, uh, that side. Um, so you might have to move some of these things around depending on the length that you have. Again, this is way easier than having to do this entirely from scratch. So I'm gonna delete these sections um and we're gonna pull this down as an example pull this up a little bit and again you can we can modify this on the front end as much as we want to get that output so it's less and less work on the back end but once i've done that i then delete that beginning header and i do that for each of those sections and i now have a linkedin carousel app so this carousel i then can export right out of linkedin and let me do that Please Canva, work for me. We're in the middle of this. Don't take this away from me. I don't wanna start over. It's three minutes later and it's working, let's go. Okay, so what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna actually download this. Uh, please, please, for the love of God, work. Uh, so PDF, standard, download, and that is downloading that PDF. I'm gonna now go to LinkedIn and I can schedule that post out in advance. Um, so let's go do that. Let's go to home and click here and then add documents. I upload that, give it a name, we hit done. And you can see that carousel is now there and I can do whatever. Something that I learned recently that's been really effective is have a call to action to follow yourself. That's clickable, right? So follow me at Cody Schneider. To learn more like this. Cool. If you made it this far and you like, you gotta like and subscribe to the video. Cool. If you made it this far, you gotta like and subscribe to the video. I try to do content generation automation content like this. <laughs> that was a mouthful. Anyways, we'll see you soon. Cheers.